Right, we've started off with some basic tagging, now we're going on to something slightly more advanced. I'm going to start off with this job, uh, T7436. Select that and place it outside the sheet. I'll go on to single part mode. Um, I'm going to start off by putting the holes in. So go on to right click automatic, or go on to automatic processing. Right click, start selection and select the holes ok that um, then I'm going to put that little slot bit in there so I know that's if I zoom in that is actually a 1.7 slot just there so I'll go on to punch in rectangle uh, 1.7 by 10.3 ok that Punch processing at element. Put that one in there. So, and that one in there. Um, for these little chamfers, I'm going to use the smaller, which is one of the smallest tools we've got in the rectangle. So it's right at the bottom. So it's a 1.7 by 5 rectangle. Again, I'll go to at element. I'll click on that. Uh, it's saying collision with to with this tool, so uh, OK that. If you look there, it's just cut through that edge there. Um, I'll do the same the other side, and the same errors come up because it's cut through on that side. I'll uh, I'll correct that in a second. Uh, I'll just finish off with the rest of the tools. This, this little chamfer there. Another one there, put that in there. All right, um, when you're doing or using at element or at contour, um, when you click on the starting edge, it will go round the profile in a clockwise motion. Yeah, so I'm trying to explain about. Um, what you do when these cut through. So if we go from punch processing to modify overlapping, because um, the, the tools are going in a clockwise motion, we need to take that back as it's cut through that edge in anti-clockwise motion. So if I go on overlapping and I'll put in minus 0.2, I'll select that. See, it's taking it backwards now, so the minus 0.2. So if we look at the other side, and as I said, this is going in, going, the profile is going in a clockwise motion. So we need to move that in a clockwise motion to move it away from that edge. So clockwise motion, would be, it would be like the plus. So it's plus 0.2 or 0.2. So put that in, enter that, and that should move that away. There we go. So let's move that away and it's not cutting into the edge now. So um, I'll get the rest of the tools I need. Firstly, I need um, not another special. Um, I'm going to start with a special four. Um, I'll put that on the, the parts that I think will need it. So there, there. There, 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 and there. There, I don't know if you see that again. The that error come up because it's gone. It's gone two mil over that edge there. So if you look in presets on the corners, every time you click on an element and the tool runs across it, it will go 2 mil over that edge. So that edge is there and it's gone 2 mil over, so it's actually cut over that edge. So you don't want that. So you go back to modify, overlapping, minus 0.2, and we take it back a bit, just so it's away from that edge. Yep. The same on the other side. These are the little things you've got to be sort of aware of and 
try and sort them out before you forget about them. Um, now next we want a special five. Oh, let's, so let's finish off with uh, the special four first because we need it on there and now. On this edge, um, we'll probably manually do this part. I'll, I'll do that in a sec after I've done the red, so I'll explain a bit more in a second. So we're um, now you get the special five tool. Five, that element, put that in there, 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 and there. Um, and as I said with that overlapping, if we zoom into here, where this radar started, on that edge is where the profile finishes, and that has actually gone 2 mil over that edge. It's probably easier to see when you've put the red tools in, so I'll put a couple of the red tools in and then show you again. So punch in special eight. So for this we go create that element. Ask for the cutting edge, so put that on there and it snap to it. Um do the same the other side. I'll finish the rest of these off and then they explain a bit more. Right. You'll probably be able to see this a bit more clearer now. Um, as I was saying about the overlapping, um, the radius starts there, the profile ends there, and that's where the radius starts. So if I put a vertical construction line there just to show you, click on parallel, then type in 2 mil. That's how far that tool has overshot the edge. It's exactly 2 mil. And the same on the other side, so it's two mil there. So what we want to do is, because um, we want to put a special five in there, um, so we put a construction line in, which uh, special five is 56 by five mil, so half 56 is 28, so I'll type that in there, put that in, do it again just so you know roughly where the job's finishing and the width is 5 mil so half of 5 is 2.5 so put that in there and that in there alright so that's the start edge of the tool and that's where you want it to end so that's from that construction line to that construction line is 56 so I'll show you, 56 mil. So you want to take that back, that special four tool back 56 and leave a little micro joint in there. So what I'm going to do is take it back. I'll go to modify overlapping, type in minus 56.08, into that, touch it on there and touch it on there. Now if we select a special 5, um, go to punch processing, single hull, rotate that 90 degrees, touch it in there, same on the other side, we'll rotate that and touch it on there. And if you zoom in you'll see the gap which is 0 0.08. For the other side, we're going to put special 11 in there. I'll just take that tool out, go and select uh, special 11, which is there. So we want to put that in there. So this special 11 is 3 mil by 12 mil, so half of the 12 mil is 6. So Put a construction line in there for six on that side and that side. Now I'll put the 1.5 in, which is half of the three, 
and go to single hull. We've rotate that 180 degrees. And if we go to modify overlapping, we know that that actual special 11 tool is 12 mil. So that again, we can go 12. Sorry, I forgot to put my minus minus 12.08. Touch it on the special five, and let's move that back. And the same there. So you see, there's a point zero eight gap in there for the micro joint. All right, now for finish the rest of the job off. Um, oh. Let's put the radius tools in there, there's a 2mm radius there, so if we touch it on there, we know it's 2mm radius for diameter, so go back into the specials, special 7, punch processing, create that element there. And there, I've got to put these ones in as well, so that's... 8mm radius, 16 diameter, so that's a special 9. So punch in special 9, create that element there. There, there and there. And we just finished the rest of the job off. Um, with some other tools. For this one, let's clear these construction lines a minute. Um, the easiest thing to do, I'll put this in manually. I'll put 2.5. The reason I'm putting this in manually, if I if I done that element, it'd run all the way along that edge straight down to the bottom. I don't want to do that, so I'll just put a single hull in. Rotate that 90 degrees. I'll just do this by eye and roughly put it in there. Right, as you can see, there's a slight chamfered edge there, and it's covering covering the tools and the gap that it needs to um, to match this up on the other side, so it's in the same place. I put a construction line across there, single hull, rotate it minus ninety, and it's in the same place. So all I've got to do, just got a few more edges to finish off. I'll use, I think, uh, another rectangle. I'll use a three by fourteen three. Which is there? That element Put in there. Right, that's all done. So I'll delete the construction lines. Um, probably the easiest thing to do to check a job after you've programmed it is to zoom in it and just go around the profile and just make sure um, everything's okay. So I'll start at one edge or one corner. Start at this one. Just drag it round. Make sure cause it's quite very easy to forget something or. Um, overlap something and cut into certain edges if you just go around it slowly you can you can spot any mistakes which you can't do if you're looking at it at a distance so just drag it over drag it round you can see that all looks all right And 
and you're back to where you started. So go to total. And if you can put a compulsory sequence in if you want. So you go compulsory sequence. Um, probably with a lot biggest tool, which is special five. We show just that that's tool. So show any processes with active tool. So I select that. Uh, set. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. OK. I'll turn that back off so all the tools are showing. And we're back to where we originally was. Um, I'll leave single part mode. And just go to save part. Save selected part as GMT. So I'll click on that. Select the part. And OK it. And now it's saved as T7436 as soon as I click on OK. So this is your video for intermediate tagging. I will do a follow up for tagging smaller jobs and nesting boxes shortly. Thank you.